So, so hi, hi, Jacqueline. Hi, Justin. Hey, man. Now, good to see you again. Now that you've done a feature film and four seasons of this project, I feel like you're in grad school with this Winchester, <laughs> dear white people thing. Like, I mean, what have you learned about yourself as a creative, as a producer, as a writer in this process? Uh, I'll start with you, Justin. Wow, I mean, uh, a lot. Uh, first of all, a lot, a lot, a lot. I think every season, what the characters are grappling with each season probably represents something I'm grappling with and what many of the writers and actors are grappling with. Um, so that's a lot, of, that equals a lot of lessons. I think the, the big takeaway um, uh, for me now is really just to take, take Give my, giving myself permission to take up space is a really terrifying thing to do, particularly in this industry where you feel like if you make a mistake, it's over for you. You got you get off the hamster wheel and they'll give it to the next, they'll give your one slot to the next, you know, black queer guy that's that's showing up doing what you do. And so, um, but with this show, I've always been able to kind of come in and try stuff. Every season is an experiment in some way. Um, and I re I personally did treat it like my grad school. I got to shoot in, not in, whether anyone noticed or not, I got to work in all of these different genres. You know, we have like noir, we have musical, we have drama moments, of course, we have comedy moments. And um, yeah, I just, I wanted to not only tell a story, be in touch with the audience, but I wanted to have fun as a filmmaker and I wanted to try things. Um, and, I, and I got to do that somehow. <laughs> Dude, everything looks perfect as usual. You keep preparing for the MCAT, and if you do well, Harvard Medical is well within your reach. Pathobiology didn't ruin anything? You talking about the A minus? Oh. You kidding me, right? <laughs> you brought the class average up to a, a D plus. Oh. Yeah, I gotta get a lot more people to sign up for psych this year. Yeah, well, I was thinking of adding something. Joelle, you are familiar with the ancient art of sleeping. Yes, but... I guess I just wish there was something on my schedule worth waking up for. Listen, you're no good to anyone else, especially yourself, if you're burnt out. If you have to add something, go ahead and add something that's fun. We all have a lot of needs. But Joelle, being productive is just one of them. Yeah. And Jacqueline, like, how, how, was, how was this? I mean, you've, you've written on these other seasons. How different was it to write for this in this musical format? Like, how did that change how you guys approach stuff in the writing room and the creative process in that? Uh, you know what's wild is it didn't change much about the process. I mean, we talked about music more, but um, one of the things about working on the show, which has been like my film school education, to be honest, Justin always puts together lists of films to watch before each season. This year, we sort of had people bring in musical movies that they loved to like show us moments of and that we brought in ours um, and to kind of break down what works, what doesn't. And um, the thing that has been true from the beginning is Justin encourages us to write cinematically, which is not something that TV often does in writer's rooms. Um, you know, you, we, uh, this show from the beginning made me learn how to, it made me a better writer, but made me write in sequences and in visual moments and in, these things that I think before, you know, before this, I, I didn't even consider. And so music was another layer to that and, and certainly something else. But I think one of the magic tricks of Justin's writing and, and um, this kind of sandbox that he built for us all to play in is that it, it's malleable. It can be sort of anything. Like in some ways we talked a lot about the idea that surrealism has always existed on the show from season one, from the very beginning. And so characters breaking out into song is just a different form of surrealism. In some ways it actually like fits the tone of the show that has already been established because it's a show where Lionel is masturbating in season one and a wall <laughs> pops up and you see Troy having sex. And so it's like, you know, is that so different than a character imagining themselves singing? Like not really. And so, yeah, it's it was slightly different because we were talking about music, but for the most part, it, it felt like a natural extension that was, sort of beautiful and wonderful. And, and last and last question, Justin. I mean, I'm just looking at emails when you were at Paramount as a publicist that where you sent to me and now you have this this deal with uh, with with culture um uh, your culture your culture brand 
at Paramount. How does it feel to have that full circle and be in that moment and have this this ill dink that this deal inked at the studio that you once worked for as a publicist? Um, I was going to say exhilarating, but, but kind of as a joke. No, it's great. I mean, it's uh, I'm I'm. I'm not a person who sort of like processes things uh, in a celebratory way. It's an, it's, I'm still alive. That's how I feel. And it's a great group of people. Uh, and I'm, I, I'm just really thrilled that like, I sort of pitched a bunch of crazy stuff. <laughs> Don't really have a show on the air with them already. And they were like, yeah, let's, let's, let's give this a try. Uh, and it, it allows me to keep telling stories in the television space but to sort of do something that I didn't know how much I really loved it until I got to do it as an executive producer on the show, which is to produce for other artists, to help other people tell their stories and to frankly, like, figure out how to get myself and other things out of their way. Um, I like that. I like that a lot. So I'm looking forward to being able to, to do more of that. Congratulations on everything. I appreciate the time as always. I'm going to come pitch you some stuff at Culture Machine. So be looking come out. Come on, man. Email, all right. Come through. Culture Machine is ready. <laughs> Thank you, Jacqueline. Thank you, Justin. Thank you.